Hey, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Black Excellence Spotlight. Man, it only gets more excellent and more excellent and even more excellent and then more excellent every week, bro. This week, I got one of my dogs in here with me, man. One of the coldest barbers in America, my dog Lito. What's up, bro? Let's go, let's, let's go. Let's go. Man. What's up, my brother? What's up, man. my brother? To all the people who wondering, who keep us fresh while we on Wildin' Out and various other TV shows. Bro, I remember one season we had, we had to goddamn go on strike to get Lito out there, bro. <laughs> like, this is one of them barbers that's so cold, keep us TV fresh, man. So anytime we got, you know, we land a gig or we got our own leeway or leverage, we make sure we try to slide them up in there, man. What's up, G? What's going on? Homeboy? How you living, man? I'm doing good, bro. Bro, first of all, you just became a legal citizen. So that, <laughs> that's me. Yo, why? Wow, that's me. I didn't even know. I thought this, I thought you was just a regular nigga. Hey, man, you know, went and finally did it, man. What was that like? It was cool. You know, just went in there, took a test, asked me a couple of questions. Yeah. And it was over. Tell them where you from, bro. I'm from Haiti. Hey. Yo, sac passe, sac passe. I didn't even know he was Haitian until just man. now. We, look, because we be in the cut. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to say shit. Y'all going <laughs> to let me know. I thought he was just another nigga with some dreads, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> you never know, bro. Mm -hmm. So Haiti, bro. What part? Port-au-Prince. OK. Like I know. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> OK, Port-au-Prince. <laughs> nah, I heard about it, though, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Wyclef. Just because. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's different. I know Wyclef. And I didn't know that Wyclef knew me until I got to meet Wyclef. So we just cool like that. Anytime Haiti is mentioned, I bring up Wyclef. Yeah. Yeah. That's him calling right now. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga know when you say his name. <laughs> <laughs> bro, how long have you been in the barber industry, bro? Oh, man, I've been in the game. Over 20 years, over 25 years. How did you get your start? That's what the people want to know. What did, how did I get started? Yeah. Well, actually, I started because uh, my father used to cut my hair, man. Yeah. And being Haitian, you know, my father was always trying to save a dollar. Uh. So he would cut my hair, man. And fuck it would, up. Oh, my God, bro. Just jack it all the way up, man. So I decided, I said, if anybody's going to fuck me up, it's going to be me. Right. So I just started cutting my own hair, cut my brother's hair, and one thing led to another, and then boom. Bro, that's a, that shit started from trauma. Yeah. My dad used to get me fucked up haircuts too. Yeah. He used to get me the Pee Wee Herman, you know what that is? Yeah. Just the little Gucci in the front. Uh -huh. He thought it was the coldest shit, bro. Like, yeah. I, I just recently started like, working on the forgiving process. Yeah. Because, like, as he cutting my hair, I have no idea what he's doing, but he geeked, like, ooh. Like, <laughs> and then I see this shit, I'm like, <laughs> then I go home, and then I'm in trouble for letting my daddy cut my hair. Why the fuck you letting your daddy cut it? I'm like, what was I supposed to do? Can't tell him no. Man. That haircut shit could be real traumatic for a black man, bro. Oh, absolutely, man. Especially with people like you that be joking all the time, man. Back in school, we get cracked on, bad haircut. Man. But even if I had a, back, a fucked up haircut, I think I would be able to defend myself. Yeah. Yeah, I try to make it seem real on purpose. I mean, that would be the angle I would take. Yeah. But you know, I don't know. It's always a solution for a bad haircut, bro. You just get your whole shit cut off to start over. Mm -hmm. But that's that's traumatic. You ever want to see a grown man cry? You tell him to cut his hair when he didn't decide for real. to cut his hair. But fuck hair at this point. I just didn't gave up on it. Me too. Chico didn't. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, he just said fuck the front and just grew the middle back. Mm -hmm. I mean, that take heart. He is like, he has, he transformed the game. Do you see all types of people are growing their shit back, whether it's half a hole now. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing niggas get braids and all types of shit. Yeah, for real. Bro, you just recently moved to Georgia, right? Yeah, my brother. You brought the business ago. down here. Yes, sir. What was that like? Oh, uh, man, it was, um, I mean, it was, it was, it's been dope, man. I mean, the people of Georgia, man, they just, they just real cool. They supportive. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, 
So, I mean, it was, it was scary, you know, but God put it in my spirit, man, to make that move, man. And, and you two talking to me, telling me how I need to be down here. I got a cousin named Ricky who's always on me about moving down here, man. So I took a leap on faith, man, and, and just asked God to just guide my steps. And it's just been great, man. It's just been such of a blessing, bro. And here I am here with you. Like, that's another part, too. Well, you, like, man, when you here with me, you <laughs> made it, bro. That's exactly hey. what this platform is for, though, bro. It's just to highlight dope-ass people that's doing dope shit in the community. I know you do a lot of, like, give-backs to the, the school. charity events, yeah. The charity events and haircuts and food for the kids and all that, Absolutely. man. I, like, talk to the people about how important that is when you're building your business. And, I mean, the, the community is, you. well, the barbershop is the community. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to create a space where anybody in the community could come to, come get a haircut, feel like a celebrity also, too, even if they're not quote unquote a celebrity. Yeah. But um, I mean, it's just, and as being a barber, man, I gotta, I gotta walk a certain type of walk, man. Like, I can't, you can't be a barber out here having beef, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you gotta be cool with everybody, man. You got, and you gotta serve the people. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, that's what I'm here to do, man. Just, just serve the people, man, and bless them with the gift that God has Bless me with. Now, what type of advice do you give the up and coming entrepreneur, the barber, the hairstylist that, you know, that might be, you know, trapping out the crib right now, trying to make that transition into getting into that professional space? What I would mean, you tell them? Take it seriously. Right. You know, like, don't play with it. You know what I mean? Um, I know sometimes you could think, oh, it's just, you know, a barber. You know what I mean? But it could be so much more than that. Yeah. You know, if you're going to get involved, then, then, then go all the way in. You know what I mean? Go take the right steps too. You know, go to cosmetology school, barber school, get your license. You know, and also too, never give up, man. Always right. try to get better, bro. And just as long as your goal is to serve the people, like my my every day I wake up, man, my goal is to make somebody else feel good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So as long as you understand that that's what it is, bro, and you stay focused, you'll be alright. You'll make it. Don't give up. Right. A lot of people they like to throw in that they do celebrity cuts or. Celebrity barbers, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. One thing about y'all barbers, y'all niggas will make up a title. What's a master barber? A master barber is a barber that's been in the game, technically, by definition, over three years. Right. Licensed. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's when you become like a master barber. I don't really think you could be a master barber unless you learn how to cut white people hair. I could do that. Like I feel like you, like you a cold nigga if you can cut. Like if you can do that Dylan cut and do that shit right, <laughs> mm -hmm. you's a cold nigga. Cause you really ain't supposed to know nothing about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you tell them niggas who had their little bumps in the back? Oh man. Well, well, first and foremost, change your pillowcase, bro. First though. Yeah, change your pillowcase, man. Cats out here sleeping in on, on dirty pillowcases. Yeah, dirty you know, houses. That's, with that's dirty the, women. Mm, with dirty yeah. women at yeah. that. <laughs> so yeah, definitely change your pillowcases, man. And um, you know, and also too, man, I mean, watch the barber you're getting your hair cut from. Right. You know, make sure he's spraying down his clippers before and after each client. You should, as a barber, you should let the nigga who going next know that you ain't gonna be using the same shit or whatever. Like, make sure he see you do it. Like, absolutely. Bro, you see me? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a must. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like a lot of niggas at the barber shop, they get mad at niggas like me. Bald niggas who come in mm -hmm. to get a bald head. Can you, can you explain the difference when the barber give you a bald head so they can know why bald niggas is taking up the first three spots and they gotta wait. Let them know that bald niggas have a place at the barbershop oh, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you got a beard too. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just, it's just a different experience, man. Like when you go to the barbershop in comparison to doing it yourself, I mean, just being able to just be in the barbershop, yeah. you know, sit down, get a haircut. I mean, bald headed niggas need love too. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? We need so cuts fuck, too. Fuck wrong with y'all hating ass niggas, bro. For All right, real. give them what kind of beard tips would you give the listeners and oh, shit like beard that? Beard tips. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, um, definitely condition your wash and condition your beard. Yeah. Um, if you're gonna use a beard oil, don't use it every day. There you go. You know what I'm saying? You wanna use a beard oil like every three this days. This is the nigga who told me to grow a beard. Like, Lowe's, man, just grow a just beard. Just grow it. Just grow I'm it. Like, fuck it. Yeah, man. I mean, um, and I mean, it's just like with growth, it's, you know, for anything to grow, it has to be stimulated. So constant stimulation on your beard, use your hands, rub your beard, comb your joint. Eat some coochie. You know what I mean? That too, that works. 
That definitely works. Guilty. You know, so. This is game that they don't just get on the streets. That's why this platform's so necessary. Right, right. I mean, where else can you tune in on anything and they tell you, eat some coochie? For real, right? <laughs> For the health benefits of it, though. Yeah. It ain't disrespectful. Yeah. What type of shit do you see at other shops that you hate as a barber, my dog? Um, I hate that barber shop where they got the TV on, man, and the barber cutting your head, but he too, he's got to stop and keep looking at the TV. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate a dirty barber shop. Yeah. You know I hate the motherfucker that stop and like eat wings in the middle of it. <laughs> and come right back to I'm you. I'm just saying, like, if you in the chair, I feel like the priority should be to get the nigga out the, the chair. The chair, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And sometimes the barber be taking too fucking long, bro. Like, oh yeah. Bro, what is you doing, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here. Word. Well shit, what can they check out some of your work and all that type of gangster oh, shit? Oh, I mean, I'm on I'm on Instagram. Um, you can follow me. I'm at Lito the Barber. Um, you see me on TV. You know my work on. Man, TV. tell them some of the shows that you worked on. Oh, some of the shows. Uh, Wilding Out. Um, I've worked with Charlemagne on, on Common Sense. Um, I used to work with BET. I did all their specials, all their hip hop awards, BET awards. Yeah. Um, all their all their specials. Uh, I, I worked on 106 in Park. I did tons and tons of shows with BET. And it's just Revolt. I work with Revolt as well. It's just a whole bunch of different networks that I work with. Yeah. Well, there you have it. A lot of people been asking me who the coldest barber. Now I got it. You understand what happens to me after this. <laughs> By me saying you one of the coldest, niggas right. gonna say that it can't be no more cold niggas and I'm gonna get tagged in 17,000 oh, haircut on, pictures oh, with man. niggas who done spray painted bird feathers and all types of shit. They could tag me too. So, so just know <laughs> that I will receive the back. Oh, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. My nigga, my nigga cut a nigga head who didn't even have a head. Like, oh my God. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's, it's a Rap, bro, but this is my nigga. So when you see me on TV and the beard looking luxurious and the bald head is fresh as hell, nine times out of ten, this nigga right here did it, and we salute you and you keep doing your thing, bro. I appreciate it. Just like, just you, know, much love, bro. But you got much love over yes, here, bro. Uh, yes, and you should have brought the stylist lady who be braiding Chico hair, cause everybody been wanting to see oh, her. I, 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 Can I, I, you send Tuesday, her down Tuesday. here? Tuesday, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna send Tuesday down here. That's her name, Tuesday. Tuesday. So everybody keep asking who is this lady who keep braiding Tuesday, Chico man. hair. She's, she's incredible, bro. She's of course, look at man. the work that she's yeah, done. She's, she's, she's great, man. She's great. <laughs> So That's send right. her down here. Let them know the uh, location of the shop for all the people okay, who so the shop around is, here that can come check you out. The shop is in Snellville. You know what I mean? Snellville, Georgia, 2135 East Main Street. Right. Um, just come through, man. On my, on my IG, if you want an appointment, you can just hit the book button. Again, that's at Lito the Barber. Just hit the book button, and you'll be able to book an appointment, and you get right on in, right on out. You ain't got to... Ain't got to worry about me eating chicken wings. There you go, man. Well, there you have it. My dog, Lito, 85 South, Black hey. Excellence. Shout out to everybody in Haiti. We out this bitch. Yeah. Whew.